everybody this is crystal so today i'm going to show you how to make this rectangle shawl here very very pretty stitch now this is made with the vintage ripple stitch it's not hard don't leave because you think it's too hard it's not i promise i know you can do it ain't it pretty it's such an old-fashioned stitch very 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 vintage so it measures approximately Sorry about my tails, I haven't hidden yet, that's embarrassing. It measures approximately 65 long across and about 26, 27 wide. Of course, you can make it as wide as you want by omitting or adding more rows. Make a big old blanket if you want. That'd be pretty, wouldn't it? Or you can make it uh, shorter and you can make it a lot longer too, just by adjusting the multiple. This is it. Nice and warm. You guys ready to do this? I'm ready to show you. Now you, you, you can do it, okay? Just follow along with me. And I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to show you how easy it is. Okay, so this is what it looks like close up here. Ain't that cool? It's really pretty neat looking. Now this is probably an ad, advanced beginner pattern, I'd say. Advanced beginner. It does have a four row repeat but I think once you get the repeat down you'll be able to fly through this it does have jagged edges it's supposed to to do that I'll talk about that later when the time comes but that's how it's supposed to look so let's go ahead and get started on this okay for this project I used uh, this is from Michaels loops and threads plush yarn now it is a bulky number 5, 39 polyester, 29 nylon, 25 acrylic, 7 wool. And there's 532 yards in this skein. And um, you're going, if, you, if you're going to use uh, this yarn or any bulky 5 yarn, you're going to need um, about 1,200 yards. Now I use three different colors of this. The colors that I use was brown, coral, and champagne. Of course, you can use as many colors as you like, or you can make it solid. I do want to mention that you do not have to use this yarn. You can use any type of bulky number five. You can use any four weight yarn. And you can even use the three weight. It doesn't matter the weight of the yarn because as long as you make your chain, you can make your chain as long as you want it. I'll tell you the multiple. So um, if you use a smaller yarn, you'll just need to make your chain longer. Make it as long as you want in the multiple that I tell you. And then you're going to be needing to use a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. I recommend the J. For the bulky five and if you decide to use a four weight if you go for a three weight i would knock it down a, a hook size um, if you're using a three weight yarn okay so i'm going to show you in a different um a different yarn because that yarn is a little bit hard to see when you're working with it so i'm just going to use a regular four weight yarn and show you how to do this stitch now the vintage ripple is done in a multiple of nine plus one so your chain needs to be the number of chains you need need to be divisible by nine and then you add one more to your base chain so we want to start out with a slip knot on your hook now remember you can do it as long as you want or as short as you want with whatever size of yarn that you want just make sure it's done in a multiple of nine plus one. Now, if you want to follow along with me, you want to make it the same size as me, you got the same size yarn. You want to start out with a chain of 199 chains. And I do want to remind you that if you use a smaller yarn, other than the bulky five, you will need more than 1200 yards. I can't tell you how much more because I, because I used the bulky five, but I know you will need more okay so once you get your chain of 199 I'm going to show you on a smaller scale you want to do 
one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Now remember, we don't count the one that's on our hook. So in the second stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. So counting that very first single crochet we did in the second stitch from the hook, we now have four single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four. Now in the next stitch, we are going to put three single crochets all into the same stitch. So there's one, two, and three like that. Now we're going to start the repeat for row one. Now we want to work one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So in the next eight we work one single crochet. So there's one, two, So there's eight single crochets there in a row. Now the next stitch, we're gonna put three single crochets all into the next stitch. Like that. And that's what we're gonna repeat now for row one. One single crochet into the next eight stitches. And then three single crochets into the next. And we're going to repeat that until we get to the end of the row. So one single crochet into the next eight. And then three single crochets into the next. One single into the next eight. And then three singles into the next. And we're going to repeat that, I'm sorry, until we get to our last four stitches. So go ahead and keep repeating that until you get to your last four stitches. Okay, I've made it to my last four stitches. The stitch before it should have been three single crochets in the same stitch. So we're gonna go ahead and end row one by putting one single crochet into the last four stitches. And that'll end row one. Now, you see these bumps here where we put the three single crochets in every stitch? That's where our fans will go. You should have a total of 22 of these little spots here right now at the end of row one. So, row two, we are going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. Row two starts the repeat. You repeat rows two, three, four, and five. So row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. We are going to be working in the back loops only now for the entire row. So we are going to skip this very first stitch right here. So we're not going to put anything in to this very first stitch. Now into the next stitch, Working in the back loop, we're going to put single crochet into the first four stitches. Okay? So, back loop only. If you look, you can see that the stitch has two loops. The one closest to you is the front loop, and the one furthest away is the back loop. So, we're skipping this first stitch, and then we're going into the back loop only of the next stitch in single crochet. We want to do four in a row. So that's one, 
go to the next one, back loop only. There's two. Next one, back loop only. Three. And next one, back loop only. And that's four. Just like that. And now we are going to put three single crochets into the next stitch, back loop only. So there's one, two, and three. And by working in the back loop, that's what creates that little ridge right there. Now we're going to start the repeat of row two. We are going to put four single crochets, one single crochet into the next four stitches, back loop only. So one single crochet into the next four, working in the back loop only. So there's one, and two, three, and four. Just like that. Now we're gonna skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and again, we're gonna work one single crochet into the next four stitches, back loop only. So skip your two, skip, skip, and the next back loop only, one single crochet in the next four. So there's one, two, three, and four. And now we're gonna put three single crochets into the next stitch, back loop only. So three all into the same stitch. Now we're going to kind of repeat what we just did until we get to the end of the row. So one single crochet into the next four stitches back loop only. So there's one, two, three, and four, and then we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, one single crochet into the next four stitches again, back loop only, <clears throat> so skip your two, skip, skip, back loop only, one single into the next four, <clears throat> there's four, and then the next stitch is going to get three single crochets into the same stitch, back loop only. So we're going to repeat that pattern until we get to the end of the row. It's four single crochets, back loop only. Skip two stitches, four single crochets, back loop only and then three single crochets into the same stitch, back loop only. Now you repeat that until you get to the last five stitches of your row. Okay, so I made it to the last five stitches. You should have, your last stitch should have been three single crochets into the back loop. I got five stitches left. I'm gonna put one single crochet in the back loop only of the next four. There's one, two, three, and four. Now you leave the last stitch unworked. And that'll re end row two. And you'll still have 22 of these little bumps here. This is where our fans are gonna go. 
Remember, we're leaving that last stitch unworked. It's supposed to look like that, okay? Now we're gonna uh, do. We're gonna start row three. Row three is just a repeat of row two. So we're gonna do the same thing that we just did again for row three. We're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn. We're gonna be working in the back loops only for the entire row again. So we skip this very very first stitch, and it's one single crochet into the next four stitches. Back loop only. Remember, skip this one. And we work in the next one back loop only we want to do four single crochets in a row there's one two three four and now it's three single crochets into the next stitch back loop only one two and three and then we're going to start our repeat for row three which is actually the same repeat we just did on row two one single crochet into the next four remember we're working in the back loops only And now we are going to skip two stitches, skip, skip. And then we're gonna do one single crochet into the next four stitches again, back loops only. So skip my two, skip, skip, back loop only. One single into the next four. There's one, two, three, four, and then the next stitch is going to be three single crochets back loop only into the same stitch and we're just going to repeat this until we get to the end of the row remember it's the same thing that we just did on the previous row so again it's one single crochet back loop only into the next four stitches Skip two, skip, skip, one single crochet again into the next four stitches, back loop only. Three single crochets into the next stitch, back loop only. And then we're just going to keep repeating this pattern and again until we get to our last five stitches of the row okay when you make it to your last five stitches your last stitch there should have been three single crochets into the same stitch there we're gonna put like we did before one single crochet into the next four stitches back loop only leaving the last stitch unworked Okay, and that will end row three. Now we're going to start row four. Still working in the back loops for the entire row. We are going to chain one and turn. Okay, we're going to skip the very first stitch. So we skip this very first stitch. And we want to slip stitch two times through the back loop. So there's one and two, like that. And now we are going to do a chain of four. Now this chain of four is going to count as a triple crochet, like that. Now we're gonna put a triple crochet in the next two stitches. So we yarn over twice for our triple. Back loop, remember we're working in the back loop. Go ahead and work your triple crochet. And we wanna do it in the next stitch. Back loop 
triple crochet. We're making our fans now. Now in the next stitch, we are going to put three triple crochets into the same stitch, back loop only. So three into the same stitch. Like that. And now we're going to put three triple crochets or one triple crochet into the next three stitches back loop only. There's one. Two. And there's three. So that is a completed fan right there that we just did. Okay, now we're going to start the repeat of row four. We are going to skip four stitches. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to put one triple crochet into the next three stitches working in the back loops. So skip your four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And in the back loop, triple crochet. So there's one. We want to do three in a row. That's one. Go to the next one. Back loop only. Two. One more time. Back loop only. And there's three. Now in the next stitch, we're going to put three triple crochets all into the same stitch. Back loop only though. So three uh, triples into the same. There's one. Two. And three. And now we're going to put one triple crochet into the next three stitches back loop only there's one two three just like that now we're just going to kind of repeat that again till we get to the last three stitches. So again, we would skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and then we would work our fan again. So skip my four, one, two, three, four, trip one triple crochet into the next three stitches, back loop only. So there was one, this is two, and three, and then, okay, into the next stitch, it's three triple crochets again, into the same stitch, still working in the back loops, it's one, two, and three, and one triple crochet into the next three stitches in the back loops only. And that's what we're going to repeat until we get to our last three stitches of the row. Like that. So, so again, we would just skip four stitches and then we would do our fan. Skip four and do our fan until we get to our last three stitches of the row. Okay, when you get to your last three stitches here, it does look like there's two stitches there, but there is three. One, two, and this is just one that we skipped from the previous row. It's a chain one. You can't really tell, but there is three, even though it looks like two. 
but that's we're just gonna we're just gonna leave those the way they are you you leave them unworked now here you will have 22 fans here at the end of row four now this is where you would uh, change colors if you'd like if you don't want to change colors you can continue with the same color but by changing colors I always just tie off my work so I always clip it like that remember your edges are going to be hanging over a bit they're supposed to do that it's just kind of the way the way it looks so we'd start our new collar for row five so row five is the last row of the repeat so you want to make sure you turn your work before you add your new color and we're just going to start it right up here into the top of this triple crochet now row five is the only row that we don't work into the back loops okay we go through both loops all the other rows we only work in back loops but on row five we go through both loops so you want to go and we start in that first triple crochet and we're going to chain one and we're, and we're going to put a single crochet into that very same stitch and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches so we'll have counting that one we'll have four total so remember we're working through both loops not just the back loop So there we got the first one and then we did three more okay so now we're going to put three single crochets into the next stitch all into the next going through both loops just like that now we're going to start our repeat so this is a um, similar to row one we're going to put one single crochet into the next eight stitches and then three single crochets into the next and that's what we're going to repeat now for row five one single crochet into the next eight stitches and three single crochets into the next and you want to repeat that until you get to your last four stitches of the row one single crochet into the next eight and then three single crochets into the next okay once you make it to your last four stitches here you want to go ahead and put one single crochet into the last four this one right here will be the chain four make sure you go into the top of that like that and that's it now it's just a repeat of rows two three four and five you if you want to change colors remember it's not necessary always do it after your last fan row so we would just repeat row two now where we chained one and turn and we work through the back loops so you can rewind me if you need to remember you will have hangovers I'll show you on my big piece Oops. it's supposed to have hangovers on each side that's just the way it, it looks the way this stitch is see that how they hang over it's the same on the other side it just has hangovers so when it looks like that you're not doing anything wrong you're doing it correctly so you just repeat rows two through five until you get it the width that you want it to be now I did a total of 
I did it until I had a total of 13 rows of shells. See, I repeated rows two through five until I hit a total of 13 rows of shells. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. On my last row though, I did not um, do row five. I just left it as an open shell. You can do a row of single crochet if you want to complete the repeat, but I just left it as is. But that's it. Remember, you can make it as wide as you want. Now remember, it's not a hard stitch once you get the repeat down. It's a really, really pretty stitch. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Remember rows two through five to get it as big as, big as you want. And if you make this, I'd really love to see a picture. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I post different stuff on there um, than I do on Facebook. And um, if you look over there to the right-hand side, I'm going to put a playlist of all my shawls. I have a bunch of a bunch of shawls, triangle, rectangular, all kinds. Maybe you want to take a quick look through that maybe you'll find another one that you want to make and don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a like if you enjoyed and if you're able to follow along okay thanks everybody for watching have a good day